need to adjust a couple more windows here because I need to be able to see all the uh, all the various things going on. Got got a, got two monitors and both of them are going to be completely filled. <laughs> That's just how it goes. Yes, I I can only imagine. All right. Let me also make one last check and make sure I'm not producing an echo because that would be a bad thing. Yep, I'm actually going to get rid of my audio there so I don't give you an echo. Cool deal. Now it looks like I got everything muted properly. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, hello everybody and welcome to today's, tonight's episode or whatever time it is for wherever you are tuning in. Uh, this is WGN Daily, and today we are going over the same games we went over in the previous session. That is Shadowgate, Insanity's Blade, and Legends of Persia. However, I'm reversing the order. We did the opposite order earlier, but we've uh, we've reversed it specifically so that way you guys can hear from uh, Carl here, who's um, actually he's been been on Shadowgate since Shadowgate first existed, and worked on Deja Vu and worked on uh, Uninvited. Don't mean to uh, spoil everything there, but uh, why, don't you, uh, why don't you say hello and talk about that a little bit here. Okay. Um, hello. Thanks for having me here. Um, uh, as you said, I'm, I'm, I'm Carl Rulot. I'm the design director at Zojoy, and um, uh, we're a small independent um, software developer that um, um, there's just a couple of us. We've got a bunch of contractors, and we're working on um, some games that we started uh, the industry working on. Uh, that's Shadowgate, Uninvited, and Deja Vu. And we're very happy to, the, to uh, release Shadowgate back to the public, our new reimagined version of it. Um, and, um, you know, gosh, just hope uh, that uh, we've captured a lot of the original because we were going for that. Gotcha. Well, you say the original, but there have been... I know at least three versions I can think of. We talked about the Macintosh version. I personally played and beat the NES version, though I don't remember. It's things after the bridge that I usually don't remember as well, because all the stuff before the bridge I was able to handle pretty well. Um, yeah. There was the one for 64. I didn't even... I don't know what was up with that. Was it same thing, uh, a little bit different puzzles, uh, different sort of stuff, but uh, uh, yeah, similar aesthetics was, and layout? Yeah. Yeah, that one was a different. That was a different storyline. That was like hundreds of years uh, past Shadowgate for the uh, N64. Okay. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, there was also Beyond Shadowgate side scroller that came out for uh, Turbo Graphics. Huh. Uh, back I... in like, you know that'd be the early '90s. Um, you know, so yeah, there uh, there've been a few of them, and I've. You know, um, uh, I was I was uh, one of the original creators of Shadowgate with uh, uh, Dave Marsh, and um, we ported Shadowgate over to about ten different game platforms. Uh, you know, computer platforms like Atari and Commodore and Amiga, and I just you know the list kind of goes on and on. You nice. Know? And, um, you know, this game is 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 a bit of a throwback. To the original game because we wanted uh, people to feel, um, uh, you know, some of the stuff they felt when they played the um, uh, the old game. But um, it has new puzzles, and um, we uh, we we revamped a lot of it. So, you know, just hope that uh, yeah. we captured the spirit of the original. For sure. Well, I notice you've also done a lot of things to improve on it. Like, I can't uh, commit suicide by thrusting the sling through my chest like I could in the NES version. So, <laughs> I think you just hit yourself in the but, head, well, but it has no effect. <laughs> yeah, but if you if if you try hard enough, you 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 can do things to yourself. Yeah. So there, you know, death. You know, we we we, we kind of embrace the concept of, you know, it's a dangerous place and you can die at any given time. So, so we, here, here's a question real quick. I'm looking at my torch. How can I tell exactly how low the torch is? Is it just a meager little flicker before it goes out? Um, it will, it, yeah, it, 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 it will go down to nothing, but the, the, the screen will darken quite a bit, and we'll give you some uh, warnings in the, uh, in the text box, too, so that you know that things are going bad. 
And then, I don't know if you remember from the NES, when you had low torch music. Yeah, I remember that music. You have low torch music for this, too, when there's about, um, I want to say 15 moves left, maybe 20. Okay. Cool. Yeah, there there are definitely things with the NES version that I think were a lot easier to access, like uh, accessing the spells in the inventory. I actually thought was uh, a little bit, and just because it's probably my own familiarity and muscle memory with it, but yeah. um, the little map in the corner that shows exactly where you can go and what you can do, that, um, that I always found really helped me out a lot. Do you play with, um, uh, you said that you've, you've had a couple... You played through a couple of rooms uh, uh, earlier to have you like open up the map in this version. Yeah, and I I wasn't sure. Can you actually move between rooms uh, from the map, or do you still have to manually travel yeah, between you know, them? Yeah, you 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 no, we 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 do not allow that because um, you could get yourself in a nasty situation if you're just jumping around from room to room because you know those are pictures of the map and. You know, you don't know what's in there, so you might run across run across a nasty monster. You know, so we right. decided against doing that. Okay. Um, we've got you know we've got a couple things. I don't know if you wanna um, uh, um, kind of boost boost up your, uh, your 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 play style here, but you can uh, you can do quick uh, quick use. You can select items in the inventory or on the UI. And um, you can um, assign those a number, and then whenever you hit the number, it's like quick use. You know, it's good that you suggested it with the spells, actually, because that's what I've been devoting them to. I've got, I think, two or three spells right now. Let me check. And I have both of them bound to uh, uh, keys already. Makes things a little bit easier. You're right. Yeah, and 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 the torch too. You find, you know, the torch in your in your lower. Um, uh, right there. If, yeah. you, if you buy that to one, um, you know it's it, it, it's really really easy. You don't have to go down there and click on it. Um, you can just hit your number. Okay. But we were offering, you know, we're 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 trying to offer. So we're we're trying to present, you know, a, a a retro style UI, but we're trying to update it by adding some shortcuts. You know, um, uh, there's key commands that you can hit. Open is 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 uh, O. Um, you can quickly get to your spells tab by hitting P. Um, that's all configurable in the options menu. Yeah. Hmm. Or I. Yeah. Even... yeah, I've been I've been trying to get better with using the um, uh, the different keys rather than um, trying to click to everything and. It, it does make things faster. Like when you're trying to hit the uh, the the levers, there clicking hit and then clicking a lever would take forever. Yeah, you know. So we you know we 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 tried hard not to be sticklers for no. You got to do it this way. You can only use yourself on the levers. Um, you know. So just trying to allow people to kind of play it any way they want. You know, it's amazing watching different people play because the styles are so so different. You know, somebody can just, you know, scroll around with the mouse and they're really quick and they love it. And other people go, no, I just want to use quick keys all the time. Um, uh, why, don't you, why don't you hit F11? What was that? Hit F11. F11. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so nice. That's a, yeah, so it, that's, that's kind of a hidden UI mode. And um, if you roll over parts of the UI where, um, like, the commands are and stuff like that, it'll, it'll come back in the screen, you know, on the screen. Or you can just hit your keys. So that just gives you a more immersive feel. So again, like just trying to do other things. Yeah, that's really nice. And here is the oh, and I'm, dragon. I'm sure, I'm sure you found uh, Quick Save too, right? Uh, uh, no, which button is that? F five. F five, and then is it F six for uh, quick load? Uh, no, actually, um, uh, you would have to go load um, it manually. We're going to um, we're actually work. So we released the game last week, and um, uh, we immediately went and um, uh, we're working on uh, on an update that we uh, hope to come out with um, in a month or two, and. Um, 
we're listening to like feedback we're getting from fans and the quick load thing was one of those things we just kind of didn't put in and uh, that's one of the things on our list to put in so there will be a quick load yes cool alright so I feel like the uh, the switches are kind of the the key for what I need to do right now as I've gone to most of the other spots and there's definitely things to interact with but I'm not sure how to interact with them other than that I see the uh, the symbol on the wall here is the same symbol as the switches right so there was that scroll that I read was uh, given those directions I couldn't quite figure out if that was something with the levers or something with something else in the game but that's uh, from, the, from the crypts yeah yeah I mean you know we 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 put lots of different you know clues to uh, to lots of different puzzles so you know that may that may apply or may not apply right now gotcha Okie dokie. Cool. So, um... Hmm. So this is, this is definitely a um, reimagining of Shadowgate. It's, there's definitely puzzles that are different than the previous versions. But I, I can hear a lot of the same music, and I can see there's a lot of similar aspects to a lot of the puzzles. Yeah, and you know that was something that we intentionally did, you know, um, because you know we wanted to reintroduce Shadowgate, because our our um, idea is to do more games like this and more games in the world of Shadowgate. So. Um, gotcha. So. Uh, Will other games in the world of Shadowgate mostly have the same kind of um, uh, style to them, or are there going to be different, like, you know, platformer versions and stuff like that? Um, do you mean like, uh, like you know, the first-person point-and-click adventure game? Yeah. As opposed to something else? Yeah, I mean, you know, the the thing the thing that we that we um, uh, uh, we're going for here is we're building an engine so that we can do other games like this. You know, and our 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 um, goal is to, you know, tweak and um, update as we uh, release new games. So you know, we feel that the adventure game, the point and click adventure game, um, is alive and well. There's a lot of value and fun in it, and um, we definitely want to uh, uh, con continue that. So. You know, this is a style game that we want to keep on going out with, and who knows what the future may bring, especially you know when we bring it over to consoles. Gotcha. Have you seen any uh, player tributes or uh, fan-made games based on Shadowgate that you know you feel like either captured the same sort of feeling of it, or that maybe you know took the idea of Shadowgate and made it something a little bit more I guess action-packed or uh, interesting in a different way uh, you know I mean over the years there have been other games that have been you know similar but different um, uh, that's you know um, so yeah I've seen them nothing really stands out as something like to say hey that's like Shadowgate you know uh, you know this you know Shadowgate feels like a a, a unique game to me you know, there have been other games, you know, there's lots of, uh, you know, tre treasure hunt games where you, you know, um, uh, seek and find that kind of have a bit of the ambiance of, say, Uninvited, you know, something like Shadowgate, but nowhere that's, that's, that's as puzzle-driven as Shadowgate is. You know, a number of years back, there was a game called Scratches that actually kind of had a nice take on it. It was, it was a 3D ish thing where you can kind of like you know swing around swing your viewpoint around in the room and look up and down um the only problem with that game is it uh it, it got me nauseated hmm. you know sometimes when you watch someone play uh you know a first person shooter you get nauseated yeah hmm 
Yeah, no, I can I can understand that. I get you. Trying to f I'm still trying to figure out if there's any clues in these scrolls here, or if the levers really are the thing I need to be uh, working with right now. Well, I know things, so. <laughs> 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 um, your torch looks like it's 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 getting kind of uh, dark. Yeah, I haven't well, really. I'll just, I'll just mention that. I, I don't know if you're gonna take care of that or something. Yeah, I haven't really made any progress since the last uh, last time I saved, so I might just. Okay. Uh, yeah. No worries. <laughs> the the only thing I managed to do was um, burn the um, what's it called the the rug in the second or third room there, expecting that there'd be a key or something below it. Yeah, well, that was kind of like from the original, so I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I mean, you know, there 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 are a couple sequences that are that are that are similar, if not very similar, to the original. But in other ways, we tried to make sure that they were different. You know. Um, right. Like where you get the sword isn't the same place you get the sling. In the NES version, right, there used to be I believe a closet it was. This room. What was that? You know, in, in, in room two, there used to be a closet. Yeah. I remember this used to have a, uh, a key in the book there, and now it gives you a spell instead. Right. You know, and there's other things still in this room, too. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if you remember the original, but <laughs> you may want to stay away from the book, and that's just a friendly little hint there. Yeah, no, I remember that. Um, can I use this on here or something? No. There's only one path out of this room, right, other than going back? I mean, no. the... Okay. Hmm. Yeah, you know, the hard part about... about... Uh, um, about doing a show like, like, like you're doing <laughs> and playing a game is that, you know, this is kind of a thinking game. You know? So you gotta do, like, five things at once. Oh, whoops. I mean, speak. Speak to this guy. I'm giving hints next. Alright, well, give me a hint then, buddy. Shoddy craftsmanship. Oh, really? Oh, okay then. That was totally not obvious. It was it was built into the uh the area there very well. I didn't uh notice anything going there. Well, I guess we go this way. <laughs> and the funny thing is is, you know, so it was it was even more hidden before the release and um, you know, it just felt like it was too hidden. So. Right. That, that was one of those last minute things that we said, you know, we should darken that up a little bit, maybe. There's your shield, arrow bounces off, lands at my feet. Okie dokie. Can I take the arrow? Torch's flame momentarily flickers. Oh, I thought I loaded it. That's weird. So this is like an example of, of, of you know, reimagining. If you remember from 
the original game is, you know, this particular room looked different. And you get the um, the arrow in that room. As gotcha. That's right. A very carved stone appears to be a keystone. I guess I need to go back and replace the uh, torch. Are you grabbing torches as you go? Uh, no, I wasn't sure if you could. Yeah, you definitely want to you definitely want to pick up torches, and then um, as one torch goes lower, you want to light another one. Gotcha. Funny, I've I've seen other people play, and they go around, and they light all the torches on the walls, and they all burn down to nothing, and then it's dark on them. <laughs> so, like, don't you? <laughs> I mean, don't, don't, don't do that. Doesn't seem like the best strategy. No, but, you know, but then, but, you know, but then again, doing that, other fun stuff can happen. You know, and if you really want to light yourself on fire, you know, we let you do stuff like that. <laughs> There's three more torches in here still. Yeah. But you can see your your room is getting you know darker and darker. Yeah. So I can't really you know tell what the text says at the times for the the stuff on screen. So. Oh, this that's why. Well. That's why I suggested. Um, that that was one reason why I suggested putting a a, a, a quick use on your torch. Gotcha. Since I can't take these, I gotta light one of these. Okie dokie. So now that it's all bright in here, is there anything I can. Yeah, but you may want to watch out for your, your own torch, right? Yeah, I just uh, gave it a little bit more juice yep. there. Awesome. Fused shuts. Oh, uh, I have a hammer. Nope. Magical tomb. Okie dokie. Uh, back to where I was adventuring before. Guy with the arrow. I can't go up that way, can I? Yeah. Any bridge? Oh, no, that's death. <laughs> This death screen isn't creepy enough. The NES one was like super creepy. <laughs> I'm just have you have you turned on any of the NES mode stuff yet? No. Let's see what some of that looks like. Nice. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> nice. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm not going to suggest it, but if you die in this mode, you know, you get a little surprised too. Well, I think I'll just, uh, quick save and, uh, see about that. Oh, there's more to Oh, gotcha. There's just a little sequence. That's funny. I like that. I like the retro stuff. The new music's nice, but I'm a sucker for the old stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and, you know, we, we got a bunch of checkboxes there so that people can kind of play it. You know, with music on and with, you know, without or with the text thing or, you know, just kind of have fun with it. Yeah. So if I remember correctly, I need a potion or a spell or something that makes me lighter if I want to try that bridge. Whoops. That's not the key I meant to press. <laughs> That is not the button I meant to press. Alright, yes, that's enough out of you, buddy. <laughs> Resume. People see that guy a lot, I'm sure. Yeah, we actually have a death count on our website. That's funny. So, uh, every time someone dies in the game, um, uh, and, and it's like, like through Steam Online, we, we, we are actually grabbing that instance of death and we're adding it to our counter. Nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Let me, let me hop over there and see what, uh, what the counter is at right now. That's Zojoy.com. It said, believe, so believe this or not, it's at 79,000 deaths. Nice. Is there an average per um, user? No, no, I mean, we're not, you know, we're, we're not, we're not really pulling um, uh, that much information. Um, we started, so when we released the game last week, we started um, at, I want to say 14,000 because, you know, we tested it on ourselves and we died a lot too. So there's yeah. been... Um, lots of deaths. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Alright, take the cloak, put on the cloak. Alright, now you got a cloak, buddy. <laughs> I probably didn't need to light those torches. Oh well, I thought that was part of the puzzle. Maybe it is. I don't even know. But what I do know is this is where I need to keep going. This isn't where the laboratory was. That's right. This is where the uh, speak epor. Yeah, the laboratory is far away. I can look at it. Been carved into the wall, but at last I am not learning a spell from it. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's definitely not that easy. Yeah. 
Uh, but did you notice on your map when you like examine some some things, you get like a little picture on your map? Oh yeah, I saw that when uh, someone else was playing. That's pretty neat. Yeah, you know, we're just trying to give you some map notes there that uh, so you can remember certain things and other things are just for fun. I gotcha. So, I doubt that I can just go and grab this. Oh, I can just go and grab that. Alright then. And some water. And what's in the scroll? Oh, that's a spell. And trays. Okie dokie. So I'll need to use that everywhere and see where it works. <laughs> that's kind of the general rule for me with spells. Can't figure it out? Use a spell. Maybe I'll do it. Yeah, well, you know, if it doesn't kill you, then, you know, that's, that's a reasonable way to proceed sometimes. See, there's that symbol again down there. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, it's a good thing I'm not like a control freak or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, do that. No, do that. <laughs> Yeah, no, it'd be, uh, it'd be an interesting playthrough. I don't know how far I'd be able to get, but yeah. But I'm sure you probably you just sit down and get through it less than an hour. I bet. You know, so I've I've I, I've yet to fully time myself. You know, it's because obviously I know everything to do. You know, but um, you know, it it it, it, it still takes a couple hours, is my guess. Um, I don't know if you know this, but uh, uh, there are there are like speedrunners, you know, who yeah. um, who, who play the game um, for speed, and they do that on the NES version. And um, you know, I want to say they can probably get through that like in twenty some odd minutes. Hmm. You know, that's pretty funny. Yeah, no, I can I can think about all the things in the NES version and actually, you know, just the process of going through and matching through the text as quickly as possible. Yeah, I could see about 20 minutes with that. Yeah, because you're just kind of mashing and you know what to do, you're just blowing through things. Yeah. You know, but if, if you're playing the game for the first time and you don't know anything, you've got hours and hours and hours of, of adventuring, you know, which I think is good. Yeah, no, that's that's pretty cool. I'm glad that this um, this version's got so much polish to it. It's really, really nice looking. Cool. And of course, the fact that you've got the retro modes to it is pretty cool as well. Because yeah, you know, it's 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 a it's it's an interesting balance, you know, because you know we've got lots of older fans, you know, who remember the the retro game, you know, the old game, so we want to definitely, you know, pay that homage. Um, but we also want to appeal to a new generation with, you know, just the graphics and uh, the orchestral sound, sound, soundtrack. Yeah, I'm going to switch it back to that. It is pretty nice. Yeah, it's very, you know, all the chanting and... Uh, um, yeah. 
There's a there's a couple of tunes. Um, I don't think you're going to hear them in, in these early rooms, but there's a couple of tunes that just really. I mean, I, I just really like, and and it's like on my playlist. You know, you just kind of like play it over and over. Yeah. No, these are. Uh, that was the first thing I noticed when I was just going through the uh, like on the title screen and changing up the options and stuff. It's um. It's got a really nice sound to it. It's pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, I just let me check something real quick. It's not that it couldn't potentially happen, but there's only apparently three people hanging out here, so I want to make sure that uh, everything is properly showing here. Looks like the feed is up and everything's working right. Uh. Hmm. Weird. I'm going to send out another message to let people know what's going on. Yeah, my little thing says 15 people are watching now. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, we got, uh, you know, so the art, we found um, uh, uh, a speed painter from Russia named Chris Cole uh, on uh, DeviantArt. And, you know, I, I suggest, you know, if you, if you like the art style, just go check out some of the stuff on DeviantArt. Um, it's just it's just really um, very moody and dark and, and visceral, and it's just very cool. So... You know, it was a, it was a great find for us because it gave us the style we really wanted. Gotcha. That's really cool. Yeah, DeviantArt's got a lot of nice artists on it. A lot of r really awesome stuff. So that's a really that's an interesting place to be looking. But um, is that do do you check out DeviantArt regularly, or is it just uh, a recommendation somebody had, or? But, I mean, it's, 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 it's almost like cold calling. So, you know, we went to DeviantArt and, you know, just spent hours looking through stuff. And the people that we liked, we reached out to and said, hey, you know, would you be interested in doing this? And the ones that were interested, we said, okay, can we, would you be willing to do a test? You know, can you draw a room like this? And, you know, we kind of gave some tests out. And, uh, you know, Chris was... You know, um, he was great. He was great to work with. So uh, we we settled on him because we just really liked his style and his speed painting. So it doesn't take like a week of room, you know? Right. It takes a day or two. So it just it was a, it was it was a very good collaboration with him. Cool. I really feel like one puzzle or another at this point is um, going to have to be resolved with these levers here. Because I've seen that symbol in a couple different places now. Uh, is something going on with your mic there? I'm sorry, I'm actually typing. So. <laughs> oh, okay. I was I was asking some questions. Let me uh, let me put it on mute while I do that. Sorry. Sure, no problem.
Alright, I don't need to pry those out. <laughs> Probably just wasting time there. Alright, I'm having some issues with my chat, so I'm just gonna ask I'm just gonna answer Caesar, um, who asked um, if if we do more Shadowgate games we're gonna add in characters that we interact with. Um, and yes, the plan is for our next game, um, it will be called Beyond Shadowgate. And um, it'll be a combination. We're, we're going to have it set somewhat in the city um, that you go out on top and you interact with people in the city. Um, but there will also be areas where you're alone because that's a fun feeling too, just being out on, on your own. So, good question. Probably some amount of just talking to this guy that I need to start doing here. I think my character already lost his eyebrows. Oh well. <laughs> hmm. Are you ready for a hint? Sure. Um, so you've got one unique skull. Well, you got two actually, but mm -hmm. you got one really unique skull. And there's a place it goes that you've already seen. I'll answer Caesar again. Um, there, there are about eight of us that develop the game. Um, two of us, um, mostly full time, and um, everybody else pretty much part time. And we had uh, one artist doing the main backgrounds, just cold, like I said, and, and the objects. And then we had another artist who did the cutscenes. I'm not sure we saw a cutscene yet in this playthrough, but. Uh, um, you can see that easily enough if you want to, you know, check out any of the trailers. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty cool for an indie company, I think. I, you know, we really want to get high quality in the game. Time I saved, I wonder. A sad thing, that your adventure... Oh well. Resume. Getting, getting dark on you? No, no, no. It was the um uh 
uh, what's it called? I went in the water. <laughs> it's not in the dragon room. Didn't seem like it was in the crypt. I doubt that it's the power supply for those gears. Nope. I, I have yet to see you go back to that room <laughs> that I'm uh, mentioning. Well, I still haven't been everywhere <laughs> yet. Okay. There we go. No oh, biggie. I don't need the danger music. So what room have I not been back to? Other than what, maybe the crypt or the entrance. Hmm. Hey Skull, you say F4. Alright, that didn't work. You can also uh, zoom in on the map. You didn't play around with that. Oh, that's neat. Ah, oh, there we go. All right then. Okay.
Rushing water comes from deep within the castle. Indeed. Alright, now that I got the gears going, I can continue adventuring. Cool deal. Oh, this guy again. Yeah, he comes back. So this isn't the one that I affected. There we go. Cool. All right. So there's another one of those power skulls. Two scrolls, fantastic. There's a spell. And then... Reading this, I know more. Best defense is count all the power. Fear of Endorus means ambition and those who travel into the dark arts. Protect the seals at all costs. He must not get them. Has uh, been. It's a lot of text there. Yeah, we're giving you background. Yeah, I know it is forbidden to enter. Each other's demands, but I implore you to follow the ley lines to the loan. Keep and add your strength. All unthalms. Were all these names used in the previous ones? Uh, no, we actually didn't have um, uh, many of the circle members um, named. Um, we we had like I want to say four or five. And in some versions, you know, you only knew two of the circle members. 
But gotcha. you know, this was a chance for us to tell more of the story. So we just gave a, a lot more um, uh, backstory to um, all the wizards from the Circle of Twelve. Gotcha. As a lark, you know, back in the uh, in the Mac days, the early in the early game, kind of as a lark, we had uh, we had one of the wizards named uh, Buttwick the Seeker. Hmm. And uh, we didn't keep that name for this version because <laughs> that was just silly names. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Well, I can definitely see there's a lot of. Uh probably a lot of asking York to find the way uh, if, if you can't find the uh, more intuitive stuff um, like now I know I've got another skull so I can go back to the front and pop it in the door yeah you're kind of, you're kind of learning some of the uh, you know the way things kind of work in the castle here so you're just uh, to give you an idea I don't know if you remember the original game you've gone to what maybe 10 rooms here Maybe, yeah. maybe 50. Um, there's 100 rooms in this version of Shadowgate. Oh, nice. That's a lot. So th yeah. I saw there's different difficulty levels. What exactly does that entail? So, you know, the easier versions, uh, the puzzles are, um, are, are more forgiving. Um, they're a little bit more streamlined. Um, you know, if, 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 let's say, a puzzle takes seven components... You know, for easy, it may only take two components. Um, okay. So we're just, you know, we, ju we just try to make more of a entry level for, for people that have never played this type of game. And, um, you know, the journey, the journeyman mode is in the middle, and the master mode is, is, the, um, is the mode that we hope people will move up to because that has all, every, every, every bit of content in it. Um, we added fun stuff like uh, hidden deaths, hmm. so you can uncover, you know, Easter eggs. You can uncover um, special deaths in the in uh, while you while you play the game. So um, you know, those are in the higher levels too. So, I gotcha. But you know, if you're new to the game, I suggest you know just playing easy and kind of getting your feet under you, so you kind of know how. Um, you know, the universe of Shadowgate works, and then move up levels. But you didn't want to have that as a hard requirement and allow people to kind of start, you know, more difficult and make their way from there. Right. Okay. Can people change the difficulty in mid-game, or is it a completely different kind of set of puzzles and such, just in the it, same it, format? It's, yeah, it's a different set of puzzles. Um, I mean, you know, there, there are some key puzzles that are the same, across them and the walkthrough is, is similar it's it's a it's a full story no matter which version you play if you play all the way through to the end on easy it's it's the full story if you play all the way through to the end on hard it's the full story you know you you, you get it no matter what version um but we don't let you change in the middle of of your save so you can have as many games going as you want different different levels and uh, difficulty levels and different save points. Gotcha. Well, that's really cool. That's really interesting having the different difficulty levels because I always remember just you know the the same static puzzles every time. You just have to you know learn all of them and get your way through them before you ran out of torches. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, we just you know we just want to make you know try to make as much. Um, a full game, you know, because we were limited early on with uh, things like disc size, you know. Um, you oh, know, yeah. We had the 512K discs uh, and the 1.12 uh, meg disc, you know, so you, you had to fit your whole game on that. Yeah. You know, now, nowadays, games have gigs, you know. And they don't so, even use them well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You know, but um, but you know, with with you know with with this version of Shadowgate, we, you know, it's it's a big download. We we have high res art, and we have animation, and have lots of rooms. So we just really, you know, pulled out all the stops. Yep. This is so. 
do you feel like this is the last version of this particular story of Shadowgate that you guys are going to ever need to tell? Or do you plan on doing it yet again later down the road to like wrap up all the lore of all the different you know versions that exist and all the different um, uh, kind of offshoots of it that will exist? Um, this this you know this this, this restarts kickstarts the the franchise. I'll call it a franchise okay. because you know we wanted to reintroduce this game with this mythos. Um, so that we can tell the couple other stories we want to tell. Um, so, you know, we don't plan on redoing Shadowgate, you know, this version, NES version, right. ever again. This was, you know, this was the restart of it. And our next game will be Beyond Shadowgate, which takes up the story 40 years later. And then, you know, if we're lucky and su successful, then we'll we'll tell another story, which is about you know, two to three hundred years after that. Cool. And that should wrap up kind of like the Shadowgate trilogy. And then, you know, we'll, we'll um, you know, get to um, Uninvited and Deja Vu and, and uh, potentially keep re revisiting uh, Shadowgate or break out a totally different um, adventure line. So, I guess, would you be updating the tales of Detective Ace Harding to modern technology or keeping it back in, like, the... I, I guess it was set in, like, the 70s, 80s kind of era, wasn't it? No, it was, uh, it was a 40s, 50s uh, um, okay. uh, film, um, uh, private detective, film noir type style. Okay. So then you would be continuing with that style? Yes. That is, yes, that would be the plan. We would We would... It, it would be set in, in those 40s, you know, the 40s or 50s, um, and um, uh, we would take, we would, we would, you know, probably retell that story, um, or we, you know, I don't know, that one's a little farther out, you know, we could do lots of different things, but, you know, we're, we're kind of a fan of kind of reintroducing it and then telling more of the story after that. I gotcha. Well, that's really cool. So, uh, you, you said, you though, you're definitely going to wait until after the Shadowgate trilogy, assuming you're able to, to get through it all. Uh, that all is going to be finished, and then start moving on to some of the other two? Uh, you know, ideally, um, you know, if we can start working on Uninvited, like, sometime next year, that would be great. So, you know, we'd like to ramp up development if we're successful and can, can do that, you know? So, you know, I mean, sooner than later, you know, it's not like six years down the road. Um, right. You know, that was the whole point of kind of building this in Unity and trying to make an engine that we can reuse, we can update and then reuse for other games. So they're going to have more, like, a much faster turnaround time with uh, the second and third one in the trilogy, it sounds like. Yes, that is the plan. Nice. Yeah, the first game took us, uh, ended up taking us two years. This one. Wow, I don't even... I, I remember when Shadowgate was first announced, but man, I don't remember it being two years ago. <laughs> that's when that's when we kick-started it. It's, um, um... I mean, really, it's probably, what, 20 months, you know? So almost two years. Still, that, you know, to have gone from that to this and then being able to move forward from here is pretty awesome. Yeah, I agree. Thanks. Cool deal. Well, I think I'm going to let you get going because I know it's late for you here. And uh, as much as I really enjoy talking with you here, and I really do enjoy talking to you here, um, I, I've got a couple more games to uh, move on to and show the lovely folks here. So, Okay. Uh, Great. It was uh, I, I, I appreciate your time and your support. And um, if you if you get back to your game here, um, on your own time, I suggest you go back to the crypt room and examine the crypt that's on the floor. Okay. And that might give you a clue on what to do. Sounds good. All right. Well, I'll definitely <laughs> have to remember that. I'll have to uh, check the end. The end of this uh, clip here. Like I know he told me to do something at the end. Just come back and review the video. All right. Cool deal. Thank you very much. Um, All right. 
it's great having you here and I will uh, I will see you later hopefully uh, thanks a lot you know if, if not for for more more feature of this one later down the road then uh, certainly for when the uh, the sequel comes through or the uh, the second in the trilogy absolutely that'd be great yep I I'd, I'd, I'd like that sweet all right well I will see you later right. then thanks Nero bye bye see you Carl <laughs>